Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, the Dragon Ball Heroes 10th Anniversary Livestream is set to start in about 3-4 to four hours, but it seems like the Dokkan X Heroes collab units for this year were either leaked or revealed a little bit earlier. Of course, a big shout out to Kawaii on Twitter for posting this image you see on the screen right now. And I'm 95% sure that this was pulled directly from the official Heroes website. I could be wrong, there's that 5% chance that it's not legit, but it's being shared a lot, a lot of people are talking about it. I saw Koresh made a video about it too, so we're going to proceed. Under the assumption that this is real, these are the upcoming characters, and if anything changes, if it ends up being fake, I'll make sure to keep you guys posted in a separate video or a post, like a, on Twitter or Instagram, something like that, okay? Anyways. Um, as you can see, we got six characters on the screen from left to right. We have Demon God Dabura, Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, super excited for him. Super Saiyan 4 Broly, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. I know another Vegito right after LR Super Vegito from the Worldwide Celebration, but honestly, like, he looks amazing. Like, he looks dope, so I really can't be mad about that. Super Saiyan 4 Gohan looks pretty sweet, too. And finally, we have Genie. Now I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Heroes. I mean, like, not that I don't, I don't like it, it's just I haven't played the game a ton, um, haven't really collected the cards, so for some of the more unique characters or more um, obscure characters, I had to look them up. So she I, apparently is called Genie Toa. I don't know her origin story, I don't know why she's in that form, but she looks amazing too. And this is Demon God Deborah, and of course, I know these guys. And I just love Super Saiyan 4 as a form. It just is so dope to me. You know, like the red fur, the crazy black hair, all that stuff. Um, I know GT wasn't like the most popular series or like a lot of people didn't love it overall for the story. But I mean, it had its moments. And the fact that it brought us Super Saiyan 4s um, just makes me love the crap out of it. Okay, so yeah, obviously a very Super Saiyan 4 centric uh, collab this year. And I am totally here for it. I have always thought we needed more Super Saiyan 4s in the game. And uh, since we have the uh, great 8 power category in the game now, then these guys can all be run on that team. And it's going to make that category much more appealing, much just better overall. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. We don't know any details about their leader skills, passives, all that stuff. But I'm sure that stuff is coming in the future with a data download or maybe Bandai will reveal it on Twitter sometime soon. As far as the release date goes for this collab, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm assuming sometime within the next week or so, maybe in a couple days. It could be in like two days for all I know, but soon is all I can say. Definitely on JP, but possibly on Global at the same time too, because we do have the surprise Dokkan now that's coming out in uh, how long from now? Like a day and a half or two days or so? And a lot of people are speculating that that Dokkan Now event is going to reveal to us that Global is going to be getting the Heroes collab at the same time as JP this year. Now, of course, it's not officially confirmed, so don't take that as fact, but it is, it is definitely a possibility. Because it's a special anniversary, 10 year, decade, big deal, right? Maybe they wanted to celebrate that by uh, releasing the collab on both Global and JP at the same time. We'll have to see. I really hope so, because I don't really want to wait for these characters as a global main, as a global player, but if we have to, I'm sure it'll be worth the wait because I'm assuming that these guys are all going to be pretty crazy. Now, one other thing, of course, is that a lot of people have been speculating that uh, we are going to be getting a Dokkan Festival exclusive Super Saiyan 4 or, or Heroes unit this year, right? And I don't really see that happening, to be honest, because... I mean, I don't think any of these guys are necessarily like more special. I mean, of course, there's Vegito, right? But the fact that they're not really highlighting any of them and just like placing them all on the same page makes me think that they're just non Dokkan Fest units as always. And I mean, actually, one interesting thing someone noted, okay, was that we usually get seven Heroes units for collabs. Like last year, I believe we got seven new units. There's only six here, so maybe these guys are the non Dokkan Fest ones, and we get a 7th Dokkan Festival exclusive that hasn't been revealed yet. Okay, I don't know, I'm just talking out of my butt right now, so... <laughs> uh, you know what, I don't think that's... I don't think that's very likely. I do think that these guys are the, you know, only units we're getting, and I've got no complaints. Okay, they all look amazing. 
I want all of them. Uh, the ones that I'm probably most excited for are Super Saiyan 4 Bardock and uh, this Toa right here for um, reasons, for science. She, she, she just looks dope, man. I, like, I love the crazy hair. Um, I love her design. Uh, there's just a lot to like there. And then Bardock is one of my favorite characters of all time, um, of the entire franchise. So, you know, I love his headband. Looks awesome. Um, I just need more Bardocks, right? So, those are probably the two for me that um, I'm really stoked for. But let me know in the comments down below, guys. How do you feel about these characters? Were you expecting these characters specifically? Um, are there any surprises here for you? And which ones do you want the most? Okay, like when you summon, do you want to see a Vegito more? I mean, I'm assuming that Vegito is probably going to be the strongest one out of, out of all of these, right? Because it's Vegito after all, but you never really know. You never really know. Maybe Broly's going to be the best. Maybe Gohan's going to be the best. Uh, maybe it's going to be Deborah, right? Who knows? Like, Heroes is crazy. There's a lot of possibilities here. But regardless, collab coming soon. There's your news. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my right eye right now is like a little bit swollen. And it was like super red before, but it's actually kind of calmed down a bit. But the reason that was going on is because right before I clicked record for this video, I got an eyelash in my eye, right? And I was trying to pull it out and like it was making me cry and like it was it was a bad situation. But uh, we got through it and now we're here and now I've given you guys the news. Um, as I said, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure that this is legit, but by all means, it seems to be. Okay, it looks very legit to me, and it's being shared everywhere. Some big names like Kawhi and Goresh and some other people have been sharing it around. So, I, I think it's real. I think it's real. So, if it is, I'm excited. I can't wait. Coming soon. Release date to be determined, but probably within a week or so, and uh, hopefully on Global 2. Uh, the Dokkan now is coming out in about two days or so, so when that comes, we'll know for sure, right? When I, when I posted my video about Dokkan yesterday, I was like, um, it's either going to be, you know, them announcing the Heroes collab at the same time, or possibly a Global First, but I think the Heroes collab is actually more likely than a Global First. We'll have to see, though. This is all just speculation, once again. But uh, anyways, guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited for the Heroes collab, just like I am. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.